Hello CCW fans, this is Jerome Jackson with Superstars of the Ring. And after a hellacious Stampede 2016, we are now left with a brand new CCW champion. But before we get to that, first things first. This Saturday on January 30th at 3 p.m. at Hard Knocks, you will see the superstars of CCW Get a chance to meet Eric Moore, K9 Carnage, heck, myself, even rock and roll Chris Turner. It might be a little worse for wear, but you get to meet him all at Hard Knocks this Saturday at 9400 Atlantic Boulevard, Suite 50, Jacksonville, Florida, 32225. Once again, this Saturday, January 30th, 3 p.m., Hard Knocks. Now, our match of the week, which left CCW definitely in a brand new light because this was the Stampede Battle Royal and this match we had the CCW Championship on the line so we're going to go to that match right now and here we are what everybody's been waiting for for the last several months the big 20 man Battle Royal not only is it for the CCW title $10,000 to the winner. And look who's back in the ring now. Jonathan Wells. He's been gone for the last few months during that time. Oh! And, uh, and it started off. It is a Donnie Brook right now. Everybody's on, on everybody. This is going to be close to impossible to call. We're just going to kind of have to sit back and pick our choose what we want to say. But this year, these guys have more to fight for than ever. This is the 25th anniversary of Stampede, and this time they're trying to win the CCW Heavyweight Championship. Looks like Shooter McGee's out. That's Frankie Morris, a rookie here in CCW. There's Skylark, he's out. Tyson Taylor, Skylark. And it looks like Jonathan Wells is working with a diamond exchange again. Quite interesting. And Did you know that Jonathan Wells was going to be back for this show? I had no idea until we got here today. And it looks like they're the ones who are taking care of business. They've thrown out every single comp competitor in this match. And, and what are the feelings, you think? I mean, they, they were... Daniel Anderson just dumped Bad Dog Brody outside of the ring. Jay Lee's out. Less Fortunate's out. We're thinning it out now. There goes Mayhem. Eric Moore dumps Mayhem over the top rope. Daniel Anderson, Jonathan Wells, and Alistair Diamond hanging back, picking their fights. Hagen is out. American Prodigy's out. Now getting, they, getting, look at this. A double team here on Hayden Price from the Diamond Exchange. Jonathan's just kind of hanging out, watching it. Eyeballing Mad Dog. And they're working on Hayden Price. Hayden Price out of the match. We're really getting down to the last of it here. Solo Jones dumped. Mad Dog just got hit from behind, got hit pretty hard. We got, what, five guys left in the match. There, oh, no, Ma wait. Mad Dog still in the match. Still in, still in. Still there. Still in, showing he that streak. hanging on. Eric Moore, Jonathan Wells sitting back watching the dirty work being done by the Diamond Exchange. I can't believe. He, and uh, Mad Dog's finally out. Took two men to get him out, but they finally did. We're down to four guys. Are we really down to four guys, or are we down to three against one? And he's going to do what he can. Jonathan Wells hanging back. Alistair Diamond and Daniel Anderson going to work on Eric Moore. It's just a matter of time, I'm afraid. Hey, you know, Jonathan, it was kind oh, of interesting. Is. Jonathan did not get involved until Eric went after him. There's Eric Moore unceremoniously There you dunked. go. Now this is a question three. we've been asking the webcast for weeks. What happens when they're the last guys in this match? Are they going to fight it out? That answers our question right there. He, you can't be serious. What is going on? So do we have a trio of guys now? Daniel Anderson, Jonathan Wells talking to each other. Di Alistair Diamond hanging on the outside of the ring. Wells <laughs> attacks. Alistair Diamond knocked out of the match. Anderson I think Alistair got a little cocky there. 
I don't think Daniel Anderson realizes now. I think we might have some good old-fashioned payback, and here we go. Whistling in the ropes. Pulls on the top rope. And that's it. <laughs> that's the winner. What a surprise there. As Daniel Anderson pulls off the upset victory, and he... Diamond pulls out the chair. Chair right in the midsection, and Jonathan Wells is hurting right now. Jonathan Wells. They want Jonathan Wells to understand who they are, that they are the Diamond Exchange. Good chair shots. And the thing is, is that Jonathan Wells has had so many enemies in the past that it's gonna be hard for people to really come out and care about him much. Nobody's gonna help that man because he has been a thorn in everybody's side. And here it is, right here. This is it. Jonathan Wells is now no longer in the Diamond Exchange. This is Fred Avery saying thank you for watching Superstars of the Ring and congratulations to Daniel Anderson the winner of the 25th annual Stampede and the new CCW champion. There you have it, CCW fans, a brand new champion crown in Daniel Anderson of the Diamond Exchange. And with all that craziness that happened at the end, you have to see what the future of the Diamond Exchange will be. And now speaking of the future, you saw the return of Jonathan Wells and also the beatdown that happened to him after the Battle Royal. Now, I was able to catch up with Jonathan after everything, and here are some very harsh words from Jonathan Wells. Hello everybody, this right here is Jerome Jackson. I caught up with Jonathan Wells right after all the great excitement here at Stampede 2016. Now, Jonathan, let's get straight to business. I want your thoughts on what happened tonight. Well, you've seen it, Jerome, just like everybody else seen it. Everybody's seen what happened tonight was supposed to be a special occasion, but that didn't happen. Tonight was supposed to be the homecoming for the future. He's been gone six months. He's been gone six months. He's been at home. He's been with his wife. He's been with his children. He's been doing what a father's supposed to do. But Daniel Anderson couldn't let it alone. Daniel Anderson couldn't let it go. He had to sit there and he had to continue to make his comments. He had to say that I was at home with the ball and chain. And he had to say that I was at home with my kids. Things that Daniel Anderson should never say. But you see, Daniel Anderson's going to learn one way or another. You think you got me down, Anderson? You think you know who I am because we were tag team partners for so long? We were one hell of a tag team. We were the greatest tag team in CCW history. And I don't mean to hurt your feelings. Wait a minute. I do. Daniel, I was the better half of that tag team. And had I not left, we'd still be champions. And we damn sure wouldn't have got beat by K-9 Carnage. But what happened? You went out, when I left, you went out, you had to find you a tag partner. You had to continue to defend the tag team titles. So you went out, and you went out, and you went kicking rocks. And what'd you see? What'd you see sitting there? You saw a little roly-poly sitting there on the ground. You said, would you like to be my tag team partner? And apparently he said yes, and away you went. You and Alistair Diamond, the Diamond Exchange. The Diamond, the diamond Exchange is not an eighth of what Future Evolution was. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something real quick. Daniel Anderson thinks, he thinks now, because he's a second generation superstar, that he's wrestling royalty, that he's the man around here. Well, he's about to find out who the man is, Jerome, because I'm the man. I'm the man that was CCW champion for 518 days. I'm the man who's the youngest triple crown winner in CCW history. I'm the man, former three-time tag champ, former Southern States champ. There's nothing I haven't done in CCW. And the bad thing is, I'm just getting started. 
I hadn't even hit my prime yet. So Daniel Anderson, if you think for one minute that you're going to keep me down, if you're going to knock me out and take me away from CCW, then you are sadly, sadly mistaken. You see, this is just the beginning, Daniel, because the next CCW event, guess what? I'll be there. The one after that, I'll be there. And after that, and after that, and after that, and I'm going to haunt you every single chance that I get until I am CCW champion again. So Daniel Anderson, take notice. I want you to listen to me real clean here because there's not a single thing that the front office can do to help you. There's damn sure not a single thing your daddy can do to help you. Because let's face facts, Boone Anderson hadn't been relevant since 1990. And this, hey, here's another thing too. You want to know why I didn't, didn't want Diamond Dave? Do you want to know why? Because every single person that Diamond Dave has managed isn't even close to what I am. So Daniel Anderson, you think about that. You keep your head on a swivel because the future is back and he's coming for you. There you go. Continental Championship Wrestling. Have you ever dreamed of crowds chanting your name? Would you like to enjoy the exciting life of being a professional wrestler? Continental Championship Wrestling exists to help make your dreams a reality. In business for over 25 years, Continental Championship Wrestling has been the starting point of many careers that have spanned into the worlds of World Championship Wrestling, TNA, New Japan, and the WWE. Regardless of your age, size, or athletic ability, we are willing to work with you to bring out your best. Born today from some of the most amazing talent in professional wrestling. There you saw words from Jonathan Wells. Now, once again, we'd like to remind you that this Saturday, January 30th at 3 p.m., Come see the superstars of CCW and play laser tag with them at Hard Knocks Laser Tag at 9400 Atlantic Boulevard, Suite 50, Jacksonville, Florida. And this right here is your, always your colorful commentator, Jerome Jackson, saying we'll see you at ringside.